So whenever you're ready, yeah. just... Is it on, is it? Is it flashing? And... Yeah. Okay, so here's the intro then. Um, open fifth string together with the fourth string, starting at the uh, seventh fret. Fifth fret. Fourth fret. Second fret. And off. Now the open fifth string together with the bottom string, and this time you're playing the ninth fret on the bottom string, the seventh fret on the bottom string, and then at that point you're into the beginning of the song. So if I put that at normal speed... strum through the um, first da -da 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 and A and then you've got this G uh, movement here um, where what you're doing is playing two, bar, uh, two beats of the G and then this riff where you're hammering onto the uh, second fret of the fifth string open fourth string back to the second fret of the fifth string, open fifth string now, and then falling on a G chord. So you get, do that again, and that comes, uh, so you've got D, two, three, four, A, two, three, four, G, two, three, four, like that. So it's occupying the middle of that, um, two sections of G. That happens again, the second line of the song. Then you get this run of chords on E minor. The first chord's a conventional E minor. One, two, three, four. That note of E under your third finger changes to an E flat there under your first finger on the fourth string there. That chord is an E minor major seven. And then you remove your first finger and you get the E minor seven. So you've got one, two, three, four. Um, the next complicated bit, um, after you've gone DNA again, is this G chord where you're falling down to the E7. You've got two bars of G, the first one is strummed, the second one you're playing two beats and then making the bass run down. So you get one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Play that at speed. One, two, The second, uh, then after that E7, you, the second time this riff happens, you've gone to the A chord after the D7, after the E7, all written down. This time you get two beats on the D chord. And then you play that bass run down again to E7. So the first time it's from G to E7, the second time it's from D to E7. But I'll play them all together. G, two, three, four, one, two, E seven, two, three, four, one, two. Um, sorry, I'll do that again. G, two, three, four, one, two, E seven, two, three, and D two. Um, that's the only. Um, complications in it. I'll play the whole thing through at a fairly slow place now and put them all together. This is um, what you've got then. <laughs> Um, 
Sorry. Every day I sit here by my light. Two, three, four. La 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 the only other things we uh, looked at was that we said on the D chord you could um, add this little motif if you want to where you're playing um, the fourth fret on the third string with your little finger and then removing it one more strum of the D chord and then doing that again so you get same if you want to get clever on the A chord you have to play a one finger A in order to do it so that version of an A chord and you simply do the same thing you can use your third finger now not your little finger but you have to do it on the fourth string so on off strum on off so if I put those together you um, Whether that's a bridge too far, I think maybe just the strumming is better, as I was saying. There he is. <laughs>